Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. Huh? Huawei Ryzen 5. It is a nice laptop. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. This laptop came here from a local repair shop. We changed the charging port. Now, in this business, you are not doing what the customer is saying to do, and you are not doing what the computer shop is saying to do. Because if I'm doing what the computer shop asks, changing the charging port, and the laptop is still not working, because probably some other board issue, they are not going to pay me. Yeah, so same like if you are doing it, the customer is not going to pay. Even if the customer said, change the charging port. Yeah, so uh, we're going to check the charging port. Uh, if, if it's destroyed, we can, uh, we can replace it, but otherwise not. I haven't checked the charging port. Let's go under the microscope. So you see exactly the point I'm trying to make. Char the charging port is like brand new. Has no issue, you can see. It's like one piece and the pins are fine. No broken. Probably you can't see properly there. Yeah, the charging port is like brand new. So I'm not going to replace the charging port. So what is next? Next, let's plug a charger. So plug in the charger. And the meter, it is not coming on, you can see. Yeah, it is wiggling. That means the charging port can be desoldered. But from a desoldered charging port to replace the charging port, it's a long way. So I will say, let's open the laptop and have a look at the charging port. On the past, we have so many issues with this uh, with this problem. We have customers like, they ask, uh, they ask, uh, okay, I want this to be done. Just, you know, in order for them to save some money. I want to you to change the charging port. And can we do what the customer asks? We can, if he's paying up front. Yeah, so if he's paying up front, yeah. I will change the charging port. The laptop is not working, okay, but... You asked me for a charging port replacement. You, do, you didn't ask me for a diagnosis. You didn't ask me for anything, yeah? You asked me for a job, which I did it. So, yeah. But otherwise, if he's not paying up front, don't do it. Because he'll not going to pay. Uh, and even, even that, yeah? even if you... If the customer is paying up front, like years ago, probably like eight years ago, we have an issue like this. So the customer wanted the charging port to be replaced. We didn't charge up front, but we replaced the charging port, and obviously the laptop didn't work. It was a Samsung laptop. And uh, the next move was the customer accused us. We broke the laptop because his issue was only the charging port, and uh, we broke his laptop. And it ended up very badly. I mean, the police came and uh, they arrested the guy. <laughs> it was like a big thing. So yeah, if the customer is not trusting you, it's better, you know, to avoid the job. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a classic motherboard with a classic uh, Huawei charging port issue. I mean, I made a bunch of videos about how bad is this charging port. Yeah, the charging port is on the other side of the board. But we can open this. Yeah, so even if you open, you will not have access to the charging port. And the charging board is moving, basically. Yeah. Okay, we have to take the motherboard out and try to repair the charging port. You know how it's fair? Because you think, okay, the life has to be fair. Fair, it will be for Huawei to recall all the Huawei laptops with this port. Yeah, because this is like, like a design issue. If this laptop, it will fail, it will fail because of the charging port. That's how can uh, Huawei make it fair, but they will never do something like that. And you will think, okay, but they will gonna lose money, you know, recalling all Huawei laptops around the world. It is what it is, you know, this is the, the price you have to pay, yeah? I mean, you cannot build a laptop and sell it. I mean, that's what happened actually in th these days. You build a laptop. You test it like a two, three years, and if it's in two, three years, you have no issue, then you will gonna sell that laptop, but that would, it will never happen. In real, uh, real life, that will, it will never happen. So uh, they will always get away, you know, with uh, these kind of design issues. So it is impossible to do something like that? Kind of impossible. I mean, I'm using like 14 gen CPU on this laptop, then I test it three years, then I release it. I mean, the laptop is already like three years old. I can't sell it. So, uh, yeah. So what is the solution? Well, the solution, it will be 
Like you see the like laptop manufacturer, phone manufacturer, they release a product every year. What about releasing a new product every three years? Huh? So you test the product with, uh, let's say, a different CPU and, okay, three years it's working fine and I'm just upgrading the CPU, I'm selling the product. And meanwhile, three years, meanwhile, I'm supporting the repairs, yeah? We are uh, making money by providing parts for uh, the previous product. What do you think about that? What do you think about this ecosystem? And then everyone is happy, yeah? People, you know, spend less money buying like every year products like with nearly no improvements. And the manufacturer actually is making money by selling uh, parts. I really believe actually the law has to change, like more aggressive. I mean, here in Europe, yeah, they change it to USB-C, like a universal port. But, you know, they, they, they have to come more uh, aggressively and uh, force some uh, regulation regarding the warranty, regarding the supplying the part for a, for a product like, you know, like this laptop. Okay, so what's the problem with this laptop? It's faulty. The CPU is burned. I don't want to go to the manufacturer. I want to go to my local shop here on the corner. Can they do it? Yeah, they can, if they have the CPU. Huh? On that point, it will be a different world. Believe me. Hopefully, I will leave enough just to, you know, be part of that world. I mean, what happened? What, what happened? Like, with how the how the market it was like uh, thirty years ago. Thirty years ago, you buy a TV. The TV is coming with the schematic. Huh? What happened with that? <laughs> what happened with that? And yeah, you can buy any part. You can buy anything from the manufacturer. What happened? What happened? You know, for the big companies. All what is matter is are the numbers, and they are paying. They have they have people special for this, yeah, to optimize the business, yeah, and optimize the the income. And they are cutting corners from anything possible because obviously they are getting paid based on this uh, performance. So yeah, that's what happened. That's uh, that's why we have this kind of charging port here, and the board it's out. Yeah, let's have a look under the microscope. So that's what we have here. I mean, they use a little bit of plastic here, which is kind of pointless. And the port, it's all moving around. We have a few burn pins here. Oh, huh? check here. Check this port. Okay, let's take the port out completely. Yeah, we're gonna melt the port, but that's fine. Okay, you know what? Here we have good news and bad news. The good news is we have all the trucks here. Yeah, the trucks are not broken. The bad news, the port is looking kind of bad. <laughs> uh huh. I mean, yeah, we usually like uh, fixing whatever. I mean, even this can be fixed. Don't get me wrong. We still have, you can see copper on every pin. But the problem is we have like few pins are burned there. We are using a hundred eighty degree solder wire. And you will ask, okay, sorry, so if you start repairing, does mean uh, pizza, yeah? No. I, we took the risk, yeah? Because we don't know if the board is good. we seen a broken charging port. And i seen a lot of laptops, like the laptop stop, stop working because of a motherboard fault. Then the customer, you know, break the charging port, trying, you know, to make sense to that fault. Okay, let me try to find a charging port. 
not that one. This one, right? I mean, we have a brand new one, I can't believe. I don't want a brand new, I want a second hand one. Uh, yeah, I want a second hand port. No second hand ports here? No. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use a new one. Feels bad, man. I mean, with the computer shops, I'm working on like 50% basis. So that's mean I'm taking like, I'm charging like one pizza and a half for this repair. Yeah, okay. Let's solder the port. Yeah, perfect, brand new port, yeah. So I'm gonna use 300 degrees. Perfect, so what do you think? It is perfect or not? You said we need some flux? Possible. Possible we need some flux. Just a little bit of uh, liquid rosin, just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Now we can resolder the, the port. Good. Yeah, now it's all the properly. Let's be sure this it will not come back. Perfect. 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 So what do you think? It is a proper job or not? Yeah, just say it. Say it. Say the word right in chat. Huh? Let's see. Plug in the charger. And the meter is coming on. I can't believe. 19 volts. Yeah. Flexing the board. Working. From the other side. Plug in the charger. The meter it is coming on. Flexing the board. You can see, and discharging fine. You can see, no problems. Hmm? Easy pizza? It's not kind, of, it's not easy. I mean, I use a ch brand new charging port. <laughs> it's not a cheap pizza, let's say like that. I mean, we have this cable here, and I have to connect this first. Yeah, perfect. Now we can put the board back. When I did the first uh, Huawei port uh, repair years ago, I forgot to connect this cable and the customer come back and say, oh, my camera is not working. Yeah, so pay attention on this uh, small ribbon cable. Okay, everything is back in place. Plug in the battery. Yeah, this battery is tricky. Perfect. Plug in the charger. We have the charger here. Plug in the charger, it's coming on. 19 volts with no current, you see? And that's bad, that means it's not charging. Pressing the power button, the current is going to 1.1 amp. 1.1 amp. One point three amps, two amps, two point two amps, two point five amps, three amps. We have picture. What do you think about that? Huh? And it's loading in the windows. Check here. We have like three amps there. And yeah, working fine. Yeah, all good. And we have the charging sign on the screen. Perfect. 
be sticking free amps, you can see. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you can uh, you can do it. Yeah, the, you know, usually I'm not changing, not replacing the ports, but this one was quite damaged. I mean, it was not damaged here inside, but it was damaged on the pins. And the only reason is because the customer, you know, try to, you know, make it work. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members-only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.